Well, back to Iowa now. Two groups hope to change Pottawatomie County's election system. Yeah, a petition effort seeks to hold a special election to change the voting system for county supervisors from an at-large to district-based. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez explains why they believe it would be better representation for all residents. The groups have collected nearly 4,000 signatures, more than what's needed to secure this special election. This is just the first step or a step in the in the right direction. Doug Irwin with Concerned Citizens of Pottawatomie County says it's time to change how county supervisors are elected. They're one of two groups pushing for a special election that would have voters choose from three plans. The first, keeping things the way they are now, an at-large system, meaning supervisors can live anywhere in the county and the whole county votes for them. Plan two creates districts, but keeps at-large voting. Plan three is fully district-based, meaning supervisors would have to live in their district and you can only vote for a representative in your district. There's a lot of group think on the board right now. And I think that if we have folks who live in different, si different sides of the city and different sides of the county, we'll get a variety of perspectives that we need. Jen Pellet, the president of the Western Iowa Labor Federation, says this is about having fair representation for everyone. She says right now, people living in the city overshadow the voices of those in rural areas. But county supervisors say it would do the opposite. We're going to be working very hard to defeat this. Jeff Jorgensen says this map reflects what potential districts could look like and says the expense is unnecessary, calling the petition nothing more than a political game. This is their plan B to get uh, uh, to get uh, uh, Democrats on board. There's outside organizations that want to take control of a lot of red sections in this country. County Auditor Melvin Hauser says a special election would cost about $100,000. This is a first for us all, so it'll be interesting navigating it. But supporters say there shouldn't be a price on someone's voice. Right now, Hauser's staff is working to verify addresses on the petition, but he believes the effort will be successful because they had a thousand more signatures than what was needed. After that, the next step is preparing the ballots. Jessica Perez, KTV Newswatch 7.